everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thanks for joining me here today. For today's lesson, I'd like to talk about idioms, specifically music idioms. Okay, and I've chosen six idioms that use words related to music. Okay, so let's see if we can take a look and we're going to look at some definitions and examples. So the first one there says toot your own horn. Okay, and the definition is to brag about your own achievements or abilities. Okay, so this is an expression that really is about bragging. Okay, if I start talking about how I have an expensive car, maybe a BMW, and I've got uh, you know a nice gold watch that's really expensive, and I've got a beautiful wife, and I've got uh, a master's degree, and then I've got a PhD. If I start talking about all my fantastic achievements, I am tooting my own horn, right? So usually people don't like it if you start bragging too much or if you start tooting your own horn too much. So this means to brag, to talk about all of your abilities and all of your achievements, okay? All right, next one, face the music. Okay, and it says here to accept the consequences or negative results of something you did wrong. Okay, so let's imagine you robbed a bank and then of course the police catch you. So now you have to face the music, right? This means that you have to go to prison or you have to go to, to jail, right? So you must face the music. Okay, one more example. Imagine your friend he cheats on a test and the teacher discovers that he cheated on the test. So now he will get zero, probably he will get a punishment. So I can say to my friend, you cheated on the test, now you must face the music, right? So that means now you must accept your punishment. Okay, so that is face the music. Okay, next one, it takes two to tango. Okay, and the definition here says, when something goes wrong, both sides are responsible. Neither is innocent. Okay, imagine two brothers, two young children, and they are fighting, okay? And then the father comes and he says, stop fighting. And the one brother says, it was his fault. And the other brother says, no, it was his fault. But the father, he knows better. He knows that it, it was both kids that were fighting. Why? because it takes two to tango, okay? One person cannot argue with himself or with herself. It takes two people to argue. So in other words, it takes two to tango, okay? So that's how we use that expression. Okay, next one, swan song. And the definition, a final performance or act before dying or retiring. Okay, so usually this is talking about an athlete or a musician or an actor's final performance, right? It, it could be anybody, but it's often used for famous people. Okay, I think we all know Michael Jackson. So before Michael Jackson died, he planned to do 50 concerts in London. He said it would be his final performance. So in other words, these 50 concerts would be Michael Jackson's swan song, okay? Sadly, he died before he could do those concerts, but it was going to be his swan song, right? It was going to be his final performance before retiring. Okay, next one, strike a chord. And it says here, to cause an emotional response because it is familiar or relevant to you. Okay, imagine you hear a song and when you hear this song, it makes you feel a little sad because it reminds you of maybe a happier time in your life or a sad time in your life, something like this. So if you hear this song, you can say, this song strikes a chord with me. Okay, one more example. Imagine you are watching a movie and the movie is about cancer. Okay, and maybe you had a friend or a family member who died from cancer. So you can say, this movie about cancer strikes a chord with me. So that means 
this movie about cancer makes me feel emotional, right? It causes an emotional response from me. So it strikes a chord with me. Okay, one more. Last one there says, music to my ears. And the definition, something that you are happy to hear. Okay, this is a, this is a fun expression. Imagine your friend tells you that your favorite sports team just won. So you can say, yes, that is music to my ears. Okay, another example. Imagine you just learned that a girl that you really like, she's gonna come to your party. Wow, that is incredible news. That is music to my ears, okay? Or maybe your boss tells you that he's going to give you a raise, right? He's going to give you more money. Wow, that is music to my ears. So that is how you use this. It is a response when you receive good news or happy news, you say, that is music to my ears, okay? All right, I'm gonna erase the whiteboard and then I'm gonna, I wanna take a look at some written examples with each of these idioms. Okay, so let's see if we can take a look at some examples that I've written up here on the board. So the first one says here, the first person says, how was the test? And the other person says, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think it went amazingly. Okay, this is a very common way to use this expression. Okay, if you want to talk about your achievements, but you don't want the other person to feel sort of bad or to feel like you're being rude, you say first, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, and then you say your, your amazing achievement, okay? All right, next one. The teenage boy crashed his father's car and had to face the music when he got home, right? So if he had to face the music when he got home, that means he had to accept his punishment when he got home because he crashed his dad's car, right? So he had to accept his punishment when he got home, face the music. Okay, next one. First person there says, my boyfriend always wants to argue. I hate him. And then her friend says, but you're arguing too. It takes two to tango, girl, right? So her friend is saying, it's not only your boyfriend that's arguing, but it's also you because you need two people to argue, not one person, right? Okay, next one. First person says, did you know tonight will be his final performance? And the friend says, really? I had no idea this was his swan song. So again there, swan song means the final performance as it was written there. Okay, next one. I love that song. It always strikes a chord with me. So there it is, right? I love that song. It always makes me feel emotional, right? It always strikes a chord with me. Okay, and last one. When my name was announced as the winner, it was music to my ears. So again, they said, I'm the winner. So this was very happy news for me, right? I was happy to hear this news. Okay, I hope that all of the definitions were clear and that you can now use these new idioms. Thank you so much for joining me here in the classroom today and we'll see you again next time.